Hi everybody, this is Lauren of Plan Mosh Plan. Welcome back to another plan with me. Um, this is a plan with me in my 2019 Erin Condren for Christmas week. I did a plan ahead for Christmas week, but I never actually did the memory plan version of it. Well, I did, but I never posted it. And I took a poll on my Instagram a week or so back being like, whoa, do you still want to see it? Or are we like into winter stuff? And overwhelming majority said, you still want to see it. So, um or at least they, I don't know what you want to see, but then they still wanted to see it. So, um, here it is. It's a two little bees kit from actually 2018. I had bought a lot of Christmas kits in 2018. And I think the majority of the Christmas kits that I used in 2019 were actually from the previous year, aside from, um, looking back in my planner. Sorry. I'm also sitting right next to a window. If you can hear cars next to me. Um, but yeah, aside from one from planning world, I think they were all, um, all from 2018. So just trying to be good, be good and not buy what I don't need. Um, but yeah, it's the kit was, this kit is super beautiful. I really actually, you know what? I'm totally lying to you. I'm looking at the font. This is a 2019 kit of hers. Um, just ignore everything I said. I maybe bought uh, two Christmas kits, but I did use a lot of ones from last year. Um, anyways, it's a really beautiful kit. I really like the kind of sage green and dark green and pink and um it's kind of a almost a brown toned red. Um I, I plus the burlap in the plaid. I think it's was really beautiful. Two little bees always has the most beautiful kind of most her she does patterns really well with solids and she just it's very like the way she puts artwork together or clip art together, I really enjoy. Um, and I just, I think the kit is great. That being said, I, this is one of those spreads. They happen to me, like, I don't know, maybe once every month and a half or so where I put it down and I'm like, I don't, that was such a pretty kit. And what did I do to it? It does not, it didn't turn out great. Like I just, I didn't love how I put the stickers in, down, um, at the end of the day. And I think that that's a, like a big part of that is that I, I've talked about this before, but I, a lot of times when I do a sticker, like when I am planning, going to plan with a kit, um, I don't necessarily like pre-plan and pull out stickers in advance, like per activity. Like you see some plan, like people who are planning on YouTube, they'll pre pick out all the different stickers that they're going to use, stuff like that. I don't do that at all. But what I will do sometimes is pick out a kind of like, or even just have in my head whether I pull out particular sticker sheets or not, but just have an idea of like, okay, for this kit, I want to use um, a lot of, you know, just like foiled, like dainty kind of foiled stickers, or I want to use a lot of um, more doodly stickers or whatever. And I'll just kind of like have that idea going into the spread, but I didn't do that this week. I just pulled literally whatever whatever I saw that matched um, the colors and like the activity that I was doing. So even though all the colors match pretty well-ish, I don't know, I actually did pull some Toffee Bananas or um, what is her name? Uh, Paper Shire stickers that are a little bit brighter of a red than what this kit is. The colors for the most part match pretty well. I think it's more just that the style of stickers is all over the place. Like I have... Um, big doodly stickers from Paper Shire and I have little um delicate doodles from Miss Just Plans and Planning Like a Pro and I have foil stickers from Crafts by Towie and Magic Prince Co and they're just kind of and you know like uh Paper Muse Crafts those little delicate ones like it's just kind of an all over the place Fox and Pip stickers Paper Blush Bar stickers Hello Petite paper doodles, like just kind of not a lot of co cohesive choices with the stickers that I pulled in. So I, some people I think like that style and choose that, but, um, to do that. And so maybe if you're one of those people, you'll really like the spread. But for me, I tend to like when things look a little bit more cohesive. So, okay. Um, that is my whole rant of all that. Um, let's see, what have I put down so far? Mostly everything is already from the kit. Um, the headers, I ended up just going with the headers from the kit. I don't tend to love, um, like, what are they called? Script headers? Font headers? Whatever. I don't know. To do today headers. But I do love the font that Two Little Bees uses so much that I didn't mind using them. I tried to pull in some 
um, gold foil headers you're seeing right here, but then I was like, you know what? No, <laughs> it, it looked too blocky to me for whatever reason. Um, and I wanted the pink to kind of lighten everything up in the today header. So I pulled those in and then the date dots on top are from, um, uh, Sweet Bell XO, and then I think everything else is just from the kit. I end up foiling a lot of the boxes later, but I don't do that until later, so we can talk about that when we get there. Um, do I have enough time to answer a question from Instagram? I don't think so. Let me see, though, if I can find one really fast. I still have a whole list of Instagram questions that I haven't got to that are kind of in my back pocket, and of course, okay, well, we don't have time. <laughs> That's okay. All right, getting into the week. So Christmas week, um, if you saw in my, a lot of what I did is actually very similar to what I put in my pre-plans for the week. Um, I worked from home um, on Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, and I had Wednesday and Thursday off. Um, although, to be fair, on Tuesday, I was not, I, I there was like, you know, I worked for a couple hours, <laughs> and then that was it. We had a half day at work. Um, but anyway, so I'm marking the like whether I was off or on most days or like off or working from home most days with a, well, I guess it's different. Well, the, yeah, some days I marked it, some days I different didn't, but on Monday and Tuesday, I marked it with little bow paper clips from the kit. Um, I also marked that I filmed, um, a video with a quarter box and a little Instagram camera from the kit. And then the film script is from magic prints co. And then I marked that I posted a plan with me. I doubt it was the same one, but I'm not sure. Uh, with a Magic Prince Co. little play button. And then I marked wrapping presents. That was a huge ordeal that took literally hours. I went with very fancy wrapping paper this year. I made a whole, like a whole craft project of stuff picks that I bought from Michaels and velvet ribbons and burlap ribbons and this whole thing. So... Um, I marked that with a little present tag from the kit. I don't like that I put it directly next to the clip art, like on Wednesday in that box, but whatever. Um, and then I'm marking here, this actually, I don't like how this turned out, but whatever. I went out to dinner with my friends and I used, um, this little margarita. We went to a Mexican restaurant. So I used this little margarita from, uh, Crafts by Towie because I had a margarita that was actually very good. Um, but it didn't, I don't like how it was like layered over the clip bar. I didn't know what to do with it. So yeah, that was fun though. I went out with, um, some of my friends and we had a great time, but the, the service at this restaurant was literally, I, it was so bad. I don't know what happened. We got there. I got there a few minutes late, later than my friends did. And they were like, I thought I was running late and they were still sitting there waiting for our reservation and then we didn't get served. We got there at like 7.30, I think. We didn't get actually served until after 9 o'clock when and we were the only people left in the restaurant by the time we got served. It was wild. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Um, okay, on to Christmas. Oh, no, no, sorry. Christmas Eve. I marked Christmas Eve by just taking this art box stickers script and putting it over. I cut up one of the half boxes from the kit that had the wreath. I don't really like how that turned out. I should have just used some clip art but I think there wasn't any that I wanted to use so whatever um and then I feel like I talked a lot about my family's Christmas Eve traditions in my last plan with me but basically we or the plan ahead version of this week but we go to this like very um fresh kind of supermarket and get all of our uh we do feast of the seven fishes which is an Italian tradition if you don't know about it but we get all of our like crabs and all of our fish and stuff from this place um, and we go we get there like an hour and a half early and we wait because there's a big line that forms of people waiting to get into this uh, supermarket. So we go, we wait first in line. We um, go and like my aunt goes, my cousin, my cousins and my cousin's friend and my sisters and I all do it. And it's just like this big tradition. It's super fun. So we went and did that. Um, and we, Mar we also, I also talked about in my last video how we go to Sconehedge, which is this cute coffee shop. It was closed on Tuesdays. I, I don't know the last time Christmas Eve was on a Tuesday. It must have been a very long time ago or they changed their hours because that's the first time it's ever been closed since I've been going. And I've been going for probably like, I don't know, 15 years or something. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so... Um, we went and did that. I actually did, normally I sleep at my mom's house, my parents' house, and I get, like, drive over with them, but this year I just met them there, because it's actually very close to where I live now, 
Um, and I actually saw them like walking on the side of the road to go to the coffee place. So I like jumped out of my Uber and was like, stop, let me out (laughs) with all my bags and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's really fun. I morning, like we just cook and we, you know, clean all the crabs, clean all the shrimp. It just is a lot. And then my uncle always comes and brings us lunch. He always brings us the same food for lunch, which is really fun. Um, rice balls, Italian rice balls and a beet salad, which I adore. And then like really good, like salami and cheese and stuff. It's just really my favorite day of the year. So we did all that in the morning. I went home, um, worked, you know, answered some emails, worked for a little bit, wanted to take a nap, but didn't end up having time, um, before like the actual Christmas Eve dinner, which is so fun. It's literally my favorite. It's just my favorite day of the year. I can't say it enough. We have so much fun. It's a big fancy dinner at my aunt's house. We always have the same people go and we just, my family, we all are, we're a family of like people who like to have a good time. So everybody just gets like pretty drunk (laughs) and we do presents and just lots of drinking and we this this year it ended up at the end everybody was like taking shots and dancing in the kitchen it was just a really good time so um I used a sticker from Paper Shire to mark the dinner I didn't write Christmas Eve dinner but that's uh what I used to kind of just mark that whole evening and then I'm marking Merry Christmas with some doodles from uh Paper Shire too and then I'm starting to kind of put foil bows over everything but Um, we, we just do a very kind of like low key traditional Christmas morning. It's just, we do it with just my family at my family's house. Steven slept over and he did it like the, you know, the first half of opening presents and stuff with us. For us, obviously we all like drink and stay up late the night before. (laughs) So it's generally like a very low key kind of morning, um, which is fine. So um yeah I just foiled all those boxes and really sped it up but anyway so that happens and then we have um a big Christmas brunch at our house we some of my dad's side of the family who lives up in northern California comes over my cousins um who are my mom's side of the family who we do the whole Christmas Eve thing with they come over too and um yeah it's just really fun everybody kind of always brings their you know same things that they bring every year and we do um, lots of mimosas and this year we did some like coffee Kahlua drinks cappuccino Kahlua drinks that were really good um, and everybody just kind of like we do we do it in pajamas so it's super casual like everybody well not everybody mostly like my generation wears pajamas <laughs> which is pretty chill and we just kind of hang out f- until the afternoon um, and then everybody goes home and my family does a very chill Christmas dinner so I went over to uh, Steven's family's house to do Christmas dinner with them because they do a little bit they're kind of still in sweatpants and pajamas too but they do more like you know they get like filet mignon and open nice bottles of wine they do like a nicer dinner so Steven or Steven was already over there I went over there and just did that we opened presents and um, they do like Christmas crackers and just fun stuff we ended up staying up and playing video games with Steven and his brother and whatever so it was just really really fun uh, the stickers that I used were from Paper Shire, and then the wine glass is from Miss Jess Plans, um, and then the bows were mostly from Simply Watercolor Co. and Sticky Sloth Designs, and then there's like one or two tassel planner bows too. Okay, um, on to Thursday, so I marked my day off, and then, um, because I did take the day off because we would go wine tasting every year, um, up in Napa the day on Boxing Day, the day after Christmas, so I had slept over at Stevens, I had breakfast with his family that morning, which was nice, and marked that with a paper shire coffee cup, and then I marked Instacarting, which I actually did, like I Instacarted because we had no food, I don't think, at my house, so we did, I did that after we went wine tasting, but um, wine tasting, I'm marking with this kind of really big box that, um, I don't know what you would call that, but we went up to a winery called Artessa, which is a beautiful, beautiful winery um, up in Napa, they do, they they we did a wine tour like of all their facilities my dad generally books like some we go wine tasting a lot but generally on boxing day he'll book like something kind of extra special like a tour of it like the facilities or whatever which is great I love that it's super cool but it's like a I think they are actually originated in Spain and were one of the first people to either I can't remember bring cava over to the US or make cava in Spain. They're like the winery is hundreds of years old. Cava is um Spain's version of champagne if you're unfamiliar with that and like what's in most sangrias which 
I love. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that was a really fun day. And then um, after I just marked that Steven and I came home and crashed, I was just so tired. I, ha- I marked it with a Fox and Pip sticker. I was just like so, it was a lot of drinking and a lot of people and fun stuff and, you know, not having a second to myself at all for like that weekend before and the days leading up, which is great. I love it. But I was like, so by, by Thursday night, I was so ready to just like not talk to anyone. So that's what I did. And then Friday was kind of the same thing. It was super low key. I didn't go out. I didn't do anything. I just marked working from home. I marked putting away all of the gifts from Christmas with a paper shire present. I marked that I just like ordered some cookbooks online uh, with a Hello Petite paper cookbook stack. I painted my nails. I filmed a plan with me. Like just all kind of stuff. Though That's all stuff that I do like for me, you know, to like unwind and chill. Just like cleaning up, painting my nails, filming, ordering like cookbooks, stuff like that. That's just like how that's my idea of, of an unwind kind of relaxing day. Um, filming too is definitely very therapeutic. So, uh, the nail polish stickers from GB Sticker Studio, and there is uh, that little swoosh squiggle divider thing up top is from Rose Color Days, and then yeah, I think that's most of the stickers that I pulled in that weren't from the kit. Um, okay, so on Saturday, I marked that I again filmed a plan with me. Um, the planner is from Fox and Pip, and then the bow is from tasseled planner I think wait yes and then the hearts that I'm using most of these hearts that I'm using are from um uh sticky soft designs which I do have a coupon code for all my coupon codes are always down below um and then I marked recipe planning I did a lot of that that day um so that was I just used the computer because that's probably pinteresting stuff and then this is just a little bow divider um from Paper Shire. Uh, and then after that in the evening, like the day was pretty chill again, just me unwinding and kind of doing stuff at home. And then, um, in the later afternoon and evening, we met up with Steven's family to go do a beer tasting at Sierra Nevada. There's a tap room over by us. Um, and I love Sierra Nevada. I went to Chico, which is where, um, Sierra Nevada originated. So I, when I was in college, I used to go, they do like, if you're ever, if you ever find yourself in Chico, California, um, go to Sierra Nevada. It's such a cool like brewery and they do free tasting, like beer tasting that gets you like pretty buzzed (laughs) and it's like free, which is wild. I mean, I don't, I don't know any other place that you can like do that kind of a tasting, that robust of a tasting and a tour of the whole facilities for free. It's the coolest thing ever. And they have a great restaurant too. So, um, Steven's parents also, or Steven's dad went to Chico too. So we kind of, his whole family, we all have this love for Sierra Nevada. So we always try and go there like a couple times a year. So we did that. Um, the beer tasting there is definitely not free, (laughs) but we did that. And then afterwards we went out to this pizza place that we love nearby, got pizza. I drank some wine. So I marked that with, um, a wine sticker from crafts by Towie and the beer mug is from planning world, which again, I have a coupon code for her too, down below Lauren 15, I think. Um, I actually marked sleeping in on Sunday, which you can't see. And I marked like just doing cleaning and laundry, the stickers were from the kit for the most part, except for the paper blush bar sleep in sticker and the cleaning day sticker is from Panda Bird Designs. It's just a very low key kind of day over there. And then we went back over to Steven's parents' house and had dinner with them that night too. I think his brother was probably gonna leave the next day or something. So that's probably why we did that again. Well, not, I mean, we always, we love to go to dinner there, but yeah. Um, I marked it with a Crafts by Towie sticker too. And then the big um, floral kind of Christmas points out of thing is from Paper Shire. So this is the spread, very foiled. Um, I, uh, you know, it's beautiful. I like how it turned out. It just is a little less cohesive than I generally like. So um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I do want to mention that um, I have a new Amazon shop that I link all of my planner supplies. So if you want to know about anything I use that's not like a sticker shop, it's all linked down below there. Um, but other than that, I think that's everything I have for you today. So thanks so much. Bye.